Hi friends, how are you? I hope you're all doing well. I'm also fine. Today, I'm going to show you how you can create an automated pipeline for Elastic Beanstalk. So let's get started. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create a new Git repository, clone onto your local, set up a Node.js application and run it with Elastic Beanstalk. And we will also set up a pipeline so that uh, you can create an automated uh, uh, way so that when you push your changes to a particular branch, you see the updates in the production. So let's get started. So first I'm going to create a new uh, repository. So I'm going to give it a name. That's Node.js project description. I'm just copy the same and create it. So uh, here, um, this is my project and click on the SSH. So I'm going to copy this project into my local. So this is I'm git cloning. Just a moment, I have to use the uh, IT of my, <clears throat> of the IAM user. So let's go through that. Because I have multiple uh, accounts, so um, I have uploaded SSH keys to my accounts. And I need to use the ID to check out. So uh, basically, it's uh, copying the SSH key ID. So it will be different for your case. Copy this and uh, uh, just add it in front of the Git repo ID. This is because I have multiple accounts, but for your case, it might be not needed. <clears throat> Okay, so let's go to Node.js projects and let's open it in VS Code, shall we? Okay, it took some time, but it opened. Now, uh, what we are going to do is uh, like running some. We're going to run npm init. So the project name is not just project text correct version. I guess I guess version two. Okay. Uh, oh, two point one 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 description. This is a eb five. I'm testing. I'm testing the elastic monster pipeline. Entry point instant or yes, it should be app yes. At this moment, I don't have any testing command. That's okay. Keywords, which is author. I am the author. There's no license. Yes, this is okay. So uh, then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run a couple of commands. So first I'm going to add dot git ignore. So here I will uh, list down the files folders that I'm going to ignore in the git. The number one is not modules. So I don't want the not modules to be part of my git for a repository. So I just want it to ignore. Probably this file will go up when new files will come. Now uh, let me install a couple of important things. One of the important thing is uh, npm install express. Okay. Now I'm going to create an app file. I have a uh, boilerplate code for hello world. Just let me copy that. 
Okay, so here's the simple code that is uh, just uh, sending a message when I browse the root URL. It is running on port 3000, if not defined in the environment variable. So um, that's it, pretty simple one line code. Now, um, I can just give this link also in my comment so you can just copy paste it. So uh, now let's try to run it. We have pasted the code now. Right what I can run is node uh, app.js. Okay. If I run it, it should run it on port 3000 because I haven't specified the environment variables. And if I run something like local post 3000, it should give me the response here. Okay. So that's very simple anyone can do and pausing my execution now we are going to push these codes into the repository set up okay now uh, if i go here just to verify that my change has been came So my color has blue. Let's take my comments. That is simple. My code is arrived here. Now what I'm going to do is I will go to the Elastic Beanstalk and uh, I will try to create a new project. There is no project here, so let's create a new application. Actually, application is Node.js app. You can add some tags uh, like uh, platform Node.js. Then uh, in the platform option, choose Node.js here. Runtime, I'm going to use 16 because that's fine. Platform version 5.6, sample application, and then create the application. Okay. It will take some time, I think one or two minutes. Meanwhile, while it is being created, let's go to pipeline section so the important thing is we want to be able to uh, deploy these code changes directly to elastic beanstalk without manually uploading it so it needs to be automated so let's create a pipeline project name is node.js app and i'm going to click next amazon code commit then I'm going to choose the repository that I have recently created. Then I'm choose the branch, click next. At this moment, I'm not going to use build. So skip the build part. Let's deploy it to Elastic Beanstalk. Then uh, it will show me the project and also it will show me the environment. So if I have multiple environments, I need to choose one. At this moment, there is only one environment which has been created. So I don't have much options, but if you see multiple options then choose the one where you want to deploy. So that is important and uh, keep the uh, correct ones here. So next, uh, the summary page where you have, where you see all those things that you have selected previously, it looks good. Let's create the pipeline. environment is still under construction. So uh, then uh, let's, this is still taking time. So let's wait for that. This might take around a few minutes. Okay, we made some progress here. This is also will take some time and it immediately failed. Why? Because 
because our environment is still not ready yet. So just wait for one or two more minutes here. I can actually pause the video. Okay, so my environment is ready. I'm going to redeploy now because previously it was not uh, ready, so it failed. But let's try it one more time to see if that was the reason. Okay, it took some time, but the deployment went well. So all is good. Now let's go to our project. So if I refresh this page, um, it will show me uh, the success. Yeah, all works well. This is the endpoint URL, so I can click here. Okay, here I will see my messages. It's pretty simple, pretty simple. Okay, now let's do some changes here. So, remove the last part and try to make a commit. So, it is message updated. And let's try to make a push. Now, uh, it will trigger the pipeline because I have made some changes. And I'm going to see whether this changes is successful. Yeah, so the git change is coming up. So Okay, so deployment has successfully done. So my message was message updated. That was my git message. And if I refresh this page, probably I should have seen the updated message. Maybe it's... So uh, this is a, a basic example of how you can uh, create a Node.js application and up and down into the Elastic Beanstalk. This is a uh, easiest way so that you don't have to manage those all those set up, setting up your environment and then up and running all those things. So just avoid the headache and use the Elastic Beanstalk to manage the operating system installation of uh, Node.js packages, running the Node.mon or PM2, etc. all those things. So you just avoid the headache. It's easy and simple. I hope this helps you to get started with Elastic Beanstalk. Uh, if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and uh, click the like button. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.